Hello everybody, welcome to the Lifeboat Dungeons. So, well, I did some off-screen, I just did a little bit of off-camera gaming here, and I upgraded my Diamond Sword from Sharpness 2 to Sharpness 3, so we're going to be doing a little more damage. But, anyways, we're gonna, we're just, just we're just gonna hop into a dungeon, let's do dungeon G, because I find this dungeon pretty easy to do, but eventually we're gonna need to challenge some harder dungeons, because how are we gonna rank up fast if we don't do that? Kinda puzzles me, but I'm trying to survive the best I can here. Now, something else we need to upgrade besides the sword is our armor. As you can see right here, it's only half of it is enchanted. So that's a little bit of a problem. We're just gonna, we're just gotta get more coins for this. And unfortunately, if we're gonna hope to survive, I do not want to lose experience level. So we're gonna want to challenge the easy dungeons. And then slowly rank up to the harder dungeons. Just like that. But, yeah, this game certainly improves your PvE skill a lot. Something that has been puzzling me lately is whether the glitch in one of the dungeons where you run up a staircase and you randomly catch on fire been patched or not. I honestly think it's patched, so, because the last few times we actually haven't caught on fire while dashing up the staircase, so either I'm too slow or it's been patched. And just one more monster to go, and we are in. Perfect. Oh! That was pretty short, everyone. We might have to try another dungeon. <laughs> oh boy. And this acid plant is just stuck in the beam right here. I feel bad for that poor guy. So anyways, everyone, that was a pretty short dungeon, so we're gonna slash the dungeon master here with our sword. That must hurt. And hop straight into dungeon M. Now, this is a little more challenging of a dungeon. And we have just killed our first fireworm so far. That's pretty amazing. In this dungeon. No, I have never... No, I have... I've seen a fireworm in these dungeons before. See, there's another one right there. But yeah, we're just slicing some skeleton here. And only one mob left to go. Alright, so now that that room is out of the way, we can now go into this other room because that's just how this game works. But I guess that means more experience because we already have a 1,700 coins. Amazing. Also, we're ranking up like crazy. I, was, I remember being level 75 when I first started recording this. Oh, now we're level 79. How, how awesome is that? Either way, we are just defeating loads and loads of mobs. Well, in these dungeons, I'm not really sure what, sure what the deal is with the mobs just, just refusing to come through the door right there. I don't get that at all. But, yeah, just slaughter more of these mobs. So, here we are in another room. This is oh, getting a little long here. There's a handy-dandy jukebox there, probably for playing records on it. Like the new pig step disc we have here. It's pretty cool. I've listened to it. It's actually pretty, it's pretty well developed. There are ten mobs left, several in which are down here. Alright, so, we have finished that room, very good, and now we have a goblin horde to fight, so let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, these boys are strong. These are actually, I might actually have to drink a healing potion after this. Oh, wow. And, they're all, all three of them are gone, so that means we have completed the dungeon and today's video. Thank you for watching to the end. Make sure you like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see everyone in the next video. Also, check out some of the videos and playlists in the end screen. That's related content. If you want. So make sure, again, 
Peace out, everyone. And have a great day.